before I start with this story and before I talk about my story, I just want to say really quickly that I am not promoting any drug use. I'm not promoting anything like that. I just want to talk about my experience. You do with your life whatever you want to do. All right? That sun is out right now, shining on your boy. God said, Brandon about to tell the truth. Let me shine on him. You feel me? Anyway, y'all saw the title of the video. Today, I'm doing a story time. This story time right here is actually one of the most profound experiences I've ever had in my life. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do more story times. A lot of you guys have been asking me to vlog. You just want an insight into my life, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that type of dude. Like, I don't want to share my life on the internet. You feel me? So I will not be vlogging, but I will be doing more story times, giving you guys some story times because I believe life is meant to be lived. You only have one life to live, so live that thing up. You feel me? Live life to the fullest, but still be great to others. That's how I feel. Do the things that you want to do, but still be great to others. Don't hurt people. That is the model I live my life by. Today, I'll be talking about one of the most profound experiences I've ever had in my life. It was a time I took shrooms. So before I get started with telling you about the time I took shrooms, let me explain why I took them. So I remember about like two years ago, I saw this video on, it's, it's too bright. I'm going to have to close these blinds. I feel like it's messing the video up. But anyway, um, around two years ago, maybe two or three, I think about two, I saw this video on Netflix. It was titled DMT, The Spirit Molecule. I don't even know why I watched it. But anyway, I watched this video and it intrigued me. I saw a lot of people saying different things about DMT, a lot of people saying different things about psychedelics. So that made me do a lot of research. I started researching DMT and that led me on to seeing something called ayahuasca so i was watching a lot of videos on ayahuasca doing a lot of research on ayahuasca and then from ayahuasca that just brought me to the whole world of psychedelics i heard about you know lsd shrooms different things of that nature so one evening this is about a year ago actually 11 months ago this happened last december december 2018 a guy that i knew well uh, he's a homie i'll be real the homie he was just like brandon hey I could get us some shrooms. You want to take some shrooms? We should eat some shrooms and go party. Woo, woo. And at this time, I already did a lot of research. So if I was going to take psych psychedelics, I wanted to have a profound experience. I wanted to have a spiritual experience. I didn't want to do it in party. Like, you feel me? I'm like, bro, if we're going to party, we could just smoke some weed or a drink. The homie ends up giving them to me. I forgot how many grams he gave me, but I took them all anyway. Because upon doing my research, people were saying, like, if you take a lot of shrooms, if you take a lot of shrooms, you you go on something called like the hero's journey. So that's what I was trying to go on. I'm going to be real. So anyway, I took all of them. I ate them things up. I ate them around, I'm going to say around like 4 p.m. It probably gets dark around like 5.30 in L.A. around this time. So I ate them around like 4 p.m., right? So the sun was still out. I wanted to see what effects it would have me while the sun was out, while the sun was setting, and at nighttime, you know? So anyway, I took them around like 4 p.m., ate them all. At this time, last year, I was in my apartment, but I was staying with my sister for a little bit because y'all don't need to know why. But anyway, so I was staying with my sister. If you guys remember, if you go like a year back, you'll see me doing reactions, and it's this brick wall that's behind me, okay? And so when I ate the shrooms, I swear, about 15 minutes later, it seemed like everything in the room just started to become a little more vibrant. All the, all the colors became a little more vibrant. And I started to see just, I'm going to say different textures. Well, not different textures, but all the textures really stood out. So like the wall, you know how the wall has like little dots? The little dots really stood out and I could really see them. The red brick that was behind me when I used to do my reactions, the red and the brick was really just vibrant and standing out. The red and the brown was really vibrant. And I just noticed all the colors in the room were vibrant. So I'm like, there's no way I'm going to stay inside the house. I don't want to stay inside the house. i got to be in nature to see how this is going to be. So I walk outside. Immediately when I go outside, I look up to the sky. The blue sky was the bluest I've ever seen it. The grass, the green grass, it was the green, greenest green I've ever seen. You know, the trees. The, the, the leaves on the trees, the greenest green I've ever seen. And it was like everything was colored in with a highlighter. All the colors were colored in with a highlighter. That's the best way I can explain it. So with everything being, being colored in and being so vibrant, it was beautiful, you know? 
And I notice also, like, as I'm breathing in, as I'm inhaling and exhaling, you know, um, every time I would inhale, it seemed like the grass, the trees, they all would inhale. And when I would exhale, they would exhale. And then when I would inhale, it seemed like all the colors would light up even more. So everything was already colored in with a highlighter. But when I inhaled, it would like get lighter. And then it would go back to the highlighter color. And then get lighter and then go back to the regular highlight green. You know what I mean? I ended up walking up to a tree. And when I walked up to that tree, I could see every single detail in that tree. Every carving, every nook, like the brown of the tree was just standing out. The leaves were super green. I could see every single detail in the leaves. And I remember I put my hand on the tree and it felt alive. And like I said, when I was breathing, it seemed like it was breathing. Trees are alive, I'm telling y'all that now. So it seemed like it was breathing and it was so fucking beautiful. And the grass was so green and it seemed like it was breathing as well. And I was like, bro, I gotta go to the park. I gotta be around more trees, more grass. There was only, there was a park maybe like only five minutes away. So it wasn't too far away. So I hopped in my car, I drove to the park. Went to the park, I'm surrounded by trees. I'm surrounded by the green grass. I sit on the grass, I'm touching the grass. I'm touching the earth. I'm going up to trees, I'm touching trees. They all feel alive. They all so beautiful. They all seem like they're breathing. I probably look crazy to the people that was in the park. I'll be honest, because I really was touching trees like, oh. <laughs> they probably was like, well, what is this guy? Now I, now I understand why people were tree huggers when they were on psychedelics. It makes all the sense in the world. I understand. Anyway, so um, I'm at the park. And after I'm touching all the trees and stuff, I sit down on the grass. And I'm just touching the grass. I take my socks, take my shoes off. I put my feet on the grass. And I'm just rubbing the grass. And I remember I looked up at the sky. And by this time, the sky, well, the sun is setting. You know how sometimes when the sun sets, the sky starts to turn pink? So the sky started the sky started to turn pink and it's beautiful the sky is pink it's the most beautiful pink i've ever seen the clouds are pink and so i'm just staring at it rubbing the grass with my feet on the ground and then i just feel this overwhelming sense of peace overwhelming sense of calm and happiness and here look i even made a video let me show you this video real quick You see how at peace I even look? Look, look at that. So it's just so beautiful. And then once I feel that overwhelming sense of peace and calm, and I'm looking up at the beautiful sky and it's pink and the clouds are pink, um, I feel like this divine feminine energy come over me. I know a lot of you guys will probably be like, how do you know it was feminine? Well, that doesn't make sense. Energy is energy. What? No, you just know. You just know. I just knew it was divine feminine energy. I feel it just like wash over me. It feels so nurturing, so loving. And I'm looking up at the clouds as I feel this. And I swear this is going to sound insane. But the sky and the clouds, like the clouds merged. And they end up forming like the outside of a vagina. I know that sounds insane, but it end up forming an outside of a vagina. And I'm just looking like, huh? And I remember I'm staring at it for like 30 seconds or maybe a minute. And then after, um, after it formed the vagina, it, it like formed again. And it turned into like this goat. This goat with like horns though. It had a goat face. But it had horns and I'm looking at it and that, that divine feminine energy is still washed over me. I still feel at peace. I still feel beautiful, calm, happy. I feel all those emotions right, right then and there as this is happening. And so I'm looking at this goat with horns and that image didn't change for maybe like a minute or two. And so when that finally went away and I couldn't see that anymore, I got this message to go to the beach. An urge message? Who know? I don't know. I'll just say I got an urge. I got an urge to go to the beach. Around this time, it was around 5 p.m. in L.A. If you guys are in L.A., you know at 5 o'clock, traffic is insane. I didn't care. I hopped in my car. I drove to the beach. 
I get to the beach. It took a while because of all the traffic. By the time I get to the beach, the sun completely set. It's dark now. So I pull up. I roll down my window. And I'm just looking out onto the water, hearing the ocean, hearing the waves crash against the sand. It's beautiful. And I'm just looking out. And, you know, I feel great. I feel calm. But then something tells me. Something is like, come. I'm like, what? Something's like, come. Come here. So I get on my car. I take off my socks and my shoes. It's freezing. As you guys saw in that video, I had a hoodie on. This is mid-December, so it was cold. Anyway, so I take my socks, take my shoes off. I walk into the sand. And as I'm walking to the sand, I just feel the urge to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So I end up walking all the way to where the water is coming until, well, to the tide is coming, you know, onto the sand. And so now my feet are getting wet by the ocean. And I'm just looking out into the ocean like, okay, I'm here. And by this time, it's dark. If you've ever been to the beach at night, you know there's no lights. It's dark, dark, you know? So out into the, out into the ocean, it's just dark. And I'm just looking like, okay, I'm here. And then something tells me to close my eyes. So I close my eyes. And as I close my eyes... The sound of the ocean hitting the waves, I mean, the sound of the ocean hitting the sand starts to quiet. It's not as loud. The breeze that's going by making me cold seems to cease. I don't feel cold anymore. I don't feel cold. I don't hear the ocean hitting the sand. And I'm just standing there. And then something tells me to open my eyes. I open my eyes. And as I open my eyes, I get the urge to walk more onto the ocean. So I walk some more and I get to where the water is about calf height or like right below my knee and I stop. And then something tells me to look up. I look up and then I start to feel at peace. I start to feel calm. I start to feel the same feelings I was feeling earlier when I was looking to the sky. You know, all those emotions, all those feelings come over me again and I feel great. I just feel in bliss. I just feel the happiest I've ever felt in a long time. Probably the most happy I've ever felt in my life. And so I'm looking up. And as I do that, I start to feel that divine feminine energy come over me again. But now it's much stronger than what it was when I was at the park. Right now, it's like undeniably the strongest energy energy I've ever felt in my life and I knew it was feminine so as I start to feel that you know I just feel like I don't know I feel like a goddess or god or whatever just like caressed me and it was I just felt like this nurturing beautiful loving energy but also it's powerful I recognized it was powerful you know so I'm staring up into the sky, staring at all the beautiful stars. And I felt like I was lifted up into the stars. I know this sounds crazy. I know it does. So as I'm there, I just, I feel something like say to me, like, do you want to know? And I'm like, huh? And I'm like, yeah. And then immediately I started getting revelations. People that have been a part of my channel, you know, about a year ago, I started saying things like we're all connected. I even say right now, there's only one race, the human race, you know? And that's because when, you know, I was in the stars, these, this was like the revelations I was getting. Humans, we like to divide ourselves based on gender, skin color, just different things like that. We love to categorize people, put people in boxes and to divide ourselves, but that's wrong. We shouldn't. You know, just because we look different, we're still the same. We're all the human race, you know? So I'm just getting revelations like that. I'm getting revelations that animals were put on this earth just like us. We're no better than the animals. Animals have emotions, feelings, thoughts, just like us. This is why I started to say, I'm gonna go vegan too. A lot of people been saying, Brandon, why you keep saying you gonna go vegan? Brandon, why you keep saying we're all connected? It's because of this profound experience right here. So I'm starting to get these revelations about animals, about how God, Mother Earth, Universe, whoever put us on this earth, even animals. And so we shouldn't be treating them the way that we treat them. We shouldn't be treating others the way that we treat others. And I'm just like, what? Getting these revelations. After I get those revelations, 
something tells me like, oh, do you want to know even more? And I'm like, yeah. Then I start getting revelations about how Mother Earth, you know how people say Mother Earth? It's because the Earth is feminine. That's why the Earth gives birth to so much. That's why the Earth can have trees come out of it. Men, we don't give birth. Women do. And that is why the earth can give birth to so many different creatures. The earth can give birth to so many different things because mother earth is feminine. So I'm getting, I'm just realizing all of this. I'm realizing that in each one of us, we have masculine and feminine energy and we need to cultivate all of that. You know, I'm realizing within myself, I need to cultivate that feminine energy because that feminine energy is what makes creativity. Creation comes from feminine energy. I'm getting all of these revelations that I... It, it was crazy because it was like I was supposed to already know this. Or it was like I already knew this, but I forgot. I swear. So I'm getting these revelations. I'm getting these revelations. And it's kind of like... Not even revelations. It's like more so I'm remembering. It's beautiful. And I still feel that divine feminine energy caressing me and is around me. You know what I mean? And I'm just learning all these things, learning all these things. And as soon as, like, I felt like I was done learning or remembering, it let me go. It's like, okay, you're done now. And then I feel myself go back onto the sand. I feel myself in my body again. And I'm not high. No more. And so I remember I just walked back to my car. What I should have did was meditate. Meditate on everything that I just received because I didn't and I got back in my car and I drove home I forgot so much of it Those are the only things that I remember But I had so many more revelations and it sucks because I don't remember it I remember on my way driving home I ended up calling my brother and I told my brother about the whole experience and my brother He told me that wasn't God. My brother told me that that was like the ocean demon or ocean spirit or whatever that's because he's christian though you know what i'm saying he believes there's only one god so he's like my nah, brethren that was the ocean demon trying to trick you woo, woo, woo. but y'all know me i'm not christian I'm, I'm spiritual so i'm like nah it wasn't but i remember calling my brother i told my brother everything that happened and he's like nah you didn't meet god bro that wasn't god that was the devil tricking you <laughs> that's what he was saying but i can't deny what i felt I can't deny what I felt. I can't deny what I heard. I can't deny what I witnessed. You know? Prior to that, I never had any experience like that. And that was just the most profound experience I've ever had in my life. And it actually changed me a lot. I remember when I was in the stars, she told me, like, from this day forward, you will never be the same. You will forever be changed because of this experience. And she wasn't lying. I became a completely different man. Even if you look at my videos from now to a year ago, I'm so different. And it's because of that profound experience. And it's because I've been cultivating not just my masculine energy, but also that feminine energy. You know, I've been cultivating it all, combining it all. I'm the best version of myself that I've ever been in my life because of that experience. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Quick little story time about the most profound experience I've ever had in my life. After I had that, I never, I didn't do shrooms again because I already had that experience. I think I might do it again just so I can have another experience. But I definitely am going to go on an ayahuasca retreat in 2020. That's my goal. My goal is to either go on an ayahuasca retreat in 2020 or have DMT in 2020. I'm doing one of those in 2020. And then in 2021, I'm going to do the other one. So if I do DMT in 2020, 2021, I'm going to ayahuasca retreat or vice versa. See what I'm saying? So that's my plans. But that was the most beautiful, profound experience I've ever had. And now I'm about to get a guardian angel tattooed on my back. I was going to get a goddess tattooed on my back because of that experience. But I don't know what she looks like. So I'm just going to get a guardian angel and it would be the woman. It's going to be a woman. But that experience was the most beautiful experience I've ever had in my life. And it forever changing, man. Y'all wanted me to open up. Y'all wanted me to share something about myself. I just shared with you the most profound experience. A lot of people don't know that about me. But now it's out there. So I'll tell everybody. Only people that know that about me is my brother and my sister. And I think my ex. That's it. But yeah, man. That's my story. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. More reactions tomorrow. Thank you for even watching this. 
And everything I told you in this story is complete 100% truth. I didn't make anything up. It's complete 100% truth. See y'all next time. Peace.